Gordon. It's the Rams with a football to get us going. But they face a second and long to start things out. Here's Gurley now. Toss right. What a spin. And here he'll get it down to the seven. That one good for 12 yards. And that is going to set up a third and one. The impressive opening drive continues and just space being created by those guys up front. We're seeing this the same way, aren't we? We are seeing an offensive line as this game gets started, as it starts to unfold, that they are dominating the line of scrimmage. First and goal, Gurley, and he takes it across for a Rams touchdown. Todd Gurley taking it in from four yards out, and the Rams take it right down and score on the opening drive. Oh, it's a fake. They'll try and throw for it. That's complete right around the eight, and he gets in. But no one was expecting a fake there, but they add two more onto their lead. Zerline out now to kick this one away. That's fielded in the end zone. And a good return as he'll be stopped just shy of the 30-yard line. Ryan and the Falcons now come up first and 10, just shy of the 30. Now it's Ryan. And his first pass is incomplete. Trying to get that in the hands of Devontae Freeman that time. That'll bring up second down. Now with that incompletion, let's have a little fun and give a shout out to the latest thousand yard rusher in the NFL, Tom Brady. Only took him 19 years, but he got there. <laughs> Did you really have to go snarky there on Tom Brady, getting 19 years to get to 1,000 hey, I mean, We praise him on everything, the incredible career, but, man, 19 years for 1,000 yards, that's something. What I really enjoyed was how he celebrated it when he got there, giving the first down signal like he was Cam Newton or someone. I think even he understood, you know, all right, 1,000 yards for me. This is kind of funny. Yeah, he had a big smile on his face. Also, he did tie Brett Favre for third all-time in passing touchdowns with 508. Not to mention, he did it in another Patriots win. Ryan, and it's hauled in by Austin Hooper. And here he'll be brought down a little shy of the 35 at the 36. 21. Now that's staying ahead of the chains. Really good pickup on first down, hitting the tight end there. Now brings up a second and manageable. Just found a hole in that zone. Well, that'll get them to first down as they get nine yards out of that quick slant. And forget about the run to set up the pass. They're just coming out throwing. Forget trying to set anything up. They feel like they have the advantage. They feel like they have the matchups, and they're just attacking right now. Yep, going to the air on the opening drive. That incomplete crisis averted. Almost picked. Instead, second down. Now, meanwhile, a pass that should have been intercepted, but it winds up falling incomplete. Second and 10 now from the 27. They toss to Freeman. And able to push his way forward here for a good little game. It'll be a pickup of five, and that leaves him with five more. Third and five now. He was hoping to get to the edge, but they did a really nice job of forcing him back inside. That's excellent fundamental defensive football. Don't let them outside where they can really shred your defense. On third down, it's Freeman. And down inside the 15, shy of the 10. So a minute 56 to play in this first half. We're back to Atlanta right after this timeout. On the heels of that good carry by Devontae Freeman, here's first and 10.
This is Freeman on first and ten. And able to get him inside the five here, just inside the five to about the four. Seven yards on the pickup there, and it'll leave him with a second and three. That's a strong pickup right there on first down, and as this drive goes on, we're seeing an offensive line and running game imposing its will. Freeman and he's maybe going to get this back to the four but that's about all call it no gain that time as it's going to leave him with a third and about three to go on third down that's Freeman and he'll go backwards losing yardage to the five that'll make it fourth down after a loss of one the Rams going to go ahead and use the first of their timeouts as they'll stop it with just over a minute to go before halftime. And no move by Dan Quinn to get the offense off the field. They're staying out there, and they're going for it on fourth. They'll try and throw for it with Ryan. This is caught. It's Sanu this time for a Falcon touchdown. Mohamed Sanu, a five-yard touchdown. And now the Falcons are within a two-point conversion of tying up the game. 